Welcome back to Portal 2 with Pace the Engineer. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we were reawoken by Wheatley in the reanimation chamber. And then uh, we went through, found the first portal gun, started going on a journey. Had to go through the room where we cruelly murdered GLaDOS in the past. Accidentally woke her up because Wheatley, kind of a fucking dumbass. Um, so, she's captured us. We're now back testing. We've got the dual portal gun. We're terrible people. Let's get going. Bop. 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 Ignore those dates. I'm going to blow those out. Um. Uh. Some notes. I'm going to maybe talk about the development of Portal 2 a little bit during this session. So, I'll wait for Glad us not to be yelling at me. I really let the place go since you killed me. You really have. Oh, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. <laughs> oh, good. That's back online. Yay. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Okay. Lasers are cool and all. There's a laser here. There's a receptacle there and a laser emitter there. Um, it's Portal 2. Much larger development team than Portal 1. Uh, from 7 to 8 in Portal 1 to 30 to 40 in Portal 2. Uh, I need to get up there. Uh, so I need to not have that on at first. Um, uh, people really, really like developing Portal 2. And, like, people would come over from different projects to join in testing and doing stuff in Portal 2. You should pace yourself, though. Ha! Pace yourself, that's me. I'm sure we do, Gladys. Um, lots of internal praise, and our Lord gave himself called Portal 2 the best game we've ever done. Referring to his company, Valve. Um, originally, they didn't want to use portals for Portal 2. They had a mechanic called F-Stop that used a camera and object manipulation. It was set in the 80s, following a new character and some other Portal 2 character that we're going to meet much, much, much later. Um, people didn't really like that this Portal 2 didn't have portals. So they scrapped that. Cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. Like so now we'll both get Jump. to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Jump. Uh, there is one in the corner. <gasps> Wheatley, he's alive! Hell yeah. Cube. Alright, so this cube shoots lasers back out. Wow. Okay. You have a nice little staircase. As you can see, everything's kind of jank right now. But I'm sure Gladys will fix that now that she's not dead anymore. Um. What? Well done. Thank you. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. Okay, you might That's be right, but says. come on. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Okay. Okay, Gladys. We'll see who ends up the last laugh at the end of this. Yeah. So, another thing. There are essentially two types of test chambers in Portal 2. Don't Safe learning. Horrible person can discourage you. I won't. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a what doorstep. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, GLaDOS. Um, but anyway, there are two basic types of test chambers in Portal 2. Safe learn a mechanic test chambers, and then deadly learn new one where we try to be creative and really, really think of portals. Like this one. We have a few, hey, here's how lasers work, here's how these cubes work. Now there's a lot going on in this room. Um, so let's see what we've got to work with. Uh, let's get up here. So we got a cube, we got a couple lasers, we got our receptacle there. Um, I think the cube's gonna have to point that. That one's pointing at a portal wall. So I think it needs to go... Where's the other receptacle? Uh, up there. So one of them's gonna need to go there. The other one needs to go there, and it's not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. Uh -huh. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. What the fuck, Glados? Calling me fat? How dare she? So rude. Goddamn, Glados is such an asshole. 
I guess to be fair, I did cruelly murder her. Um, so, well, she also tried to kill me. So, we're both terrible people. It's okay. We'll figure I'm it out. Navigating these test chambers faster than I can do it. Hell yeah. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Good question. Does Shell have a hobby? I don't know. Uh, let's go there. Uh, button make a cube. Button make a cube. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we got a laser. Laser thing, there's a moving platform over there. Laser should start the moving platform. Um, wait a second. I'm gonna want to be over there for when the platform gets over. Okay, so I just need to leave the portal there, and then I'll go over here. And I just need to go over there. And I just wait for the platform. Chamber design for Portal 2 things always started in an isometric view on a whiteboard. And then from there, they would do sanity checks and things before they ever made an actual chamber. For the record, you don't have to go that slowly. What the fuck, Gladys? That was fast. I'm smart. Um, the single player story for this game, written by Jay Pinkerton, and was worked tightly in development with the actual gameplay of it uh, to keep everything in sync, which was very good. Very good planning, very well executed, because this is one of the greatest games of all time. Oh. So, let's keep moving. Uh, ooh, we got a vault. Oh, that's not a vault, it's a power thingy. It's a fucking spring. It's a spring launcher thingy. Look at all the weights, and then it's spooled up, and then it launches you upwards. Let's go get launched. Okay. This sure. next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to mm -hmm. investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Oh. Good luck. Uh, well, I'm not the average tester, though. I'm something more. Oh, they could have killed me. Okay. Um, so I need a button for that. This is going to drop a cube there, and I suppose I'm just going to have to catch it in there. Be a bad... Oh, it's going to keep bouncing. Okay, so I just need to hit the timing right here. Whew. Listen up. Here's an interesting oh, yeah. fact. Your knowledge of the Aperture Science Aerial Faith is too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room. Freshen it up a little and pump it back in. Don't so think that's how air works. Same room full of air for the rest of your life. I don't. I thought that was interesting. I'm not a chemist. I don't think that's scientifically accurate. But I don't know, I'm just an engineer. I'm not a chemist. I don't do chemistry. I'm not a chemical engineer. Let's see I'm an engineer. Engineer. Is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Hmm. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Why would you make a wing out of glass? It's a terrible idea. Ooh, this is a big chamber. Oh, 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 this chamber has a secret in it. Let's go find a secret. Um, I already know about this secret because I have played this game a lot. Let's go. So we're going to launch through some face plates. They're gonna take me to some places, and I'm gonna portal in to the secret room. It's arriving and then smooth jazz fails. Dang it, I like smooth jazz. Beans on computers, you got water. Good old rat man. Um, I need to go over there. Okay, let's do this for reals this time. So I need to get all the way over there, so let's get launching. Wow.
there's a cube there, I need to get something with a cube. Ah, there's a thing there. Okay. Um, let's get some cubes. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in there. That is Standing trash. Around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. See, what she did there was she was using the garbage to call me useless and smelly. Huh, 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 huh. One of these was a radio. I don't. It's garbage. It is garbage. Press the button again. But I want to do something with the garbage because I know things that you don't, Gladys. This is a radio, and I play Portal One, so I know that if you take a radio to a special place, but oh, but, uh, oh, that was so cool. We get Morse code. Now, I'm not smart enough to know what that says, I just know that this gets you an achievement. So, if you ever play Portal 2 yourself, there's a thing you can do. Um, I'm not sure why you would play Portal 2 yourself after watching someone else play it. It's a puzzle game, but I'm not one to judge. I've done that before. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead and do that, and you'll get yourself a nifty little achievement. And, and we're back. So... What's gonna happen? And that's gonna drop a cube. Cube's gonna bounce, bounce, bounce. And a cube's gotta be there to open the doors. So why don't I just do that? And fire the cube at full force straight downwards onto the button. And up. And. Don't. Bam. Remember Banged before it. when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it's going to run over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <sighs> okay, Gladys. Okay. Okay. Okay, but I'll remember this. I'll remember this later. When you're Did nothing. You you're not even a potato. You're, you're less than a potato. Oh, I see what you tried to do there. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. You think because I murdered you, I'm guilty? Wrong. It takes a lot more than murder to make me guilty. Hey, it's the companion cube. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that what before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. God damn it, Lattice. She knows I like companion cubes. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. This oh well. bitch. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. <sighs> One day, Gladys, I'm gonna kill you a second time. <gasps> Wheatley, he was there. He was hidden. I saw him. Uh, ba bow. Uh, blocking the cube, back there's the elevator. Move the cube out of the way to make the elevator go back. Now I need the cube up here. Because I want the cube. Yeah, give me the cube. Hell yeah, companion cube. Let's go. Okay. Um, I need to launch up there, so let's just fling myself. Go ahead and put the cube up there so I don't worry about it. Mm, yeah. Now, can I be a cool guy? Can I cheat this? If you're cool enough. Cheat the system there and shortcut your way through this chamber, but I'm not cool enough. I'm just some loser guy. What? Bow, I got it. Now let's see if I can't. Well, I guess three ways. Is it this? Is this the way you can cheat it? Be a cool guy? There's a way you can cheat this be a cool guy. Uh, oh well. We'll do it the proper way. I am a proper rule following engineer and I never cheat. Right guys. Right. Oh. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit. So <sighs> that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test I area. This one is broken. Don't take <laughs> anything with you. Oh yes, I most certainly will not take anything with me, Klaus. You can trust me. I'm trustworthy. I'm an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one was about to say, I love you. 
They are essential to the course. We just have a lot of them. So anyway, guys, um, I, I'm going to kill GLaDOS later, I think. Maybe I might. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, maybe something worse will happen to her than death. I heard she doesn't like potatoes. Maybe something this next potatoes. test involves emancipation grills. Yep. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area. They yes, did not did. have one. Wait, this next oh. test does require some explanation. Yeah, okay. Let me give you the fast version. There. Oh, if you got have it. Questions, Perfect. Just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on Don't even need to remember it in slow motion. I already right got back. it. I know what I'm doing. Do it. Do it. Trust me, guys. I know what I'm doing. I'm an engineer. I know exactly what I'm doing. So I can just do that. And then this. And then who even cares if there's an emancipation grill? I can just grab this. And now I've got the cube, and then I just need to shoot the laser at the cube target, which is right there. And then I can go back through. Easy. Easy. Not even a challenge. Come up with better challenges. Come up with harder challenges, GLaDOS. Too easy. Too fucking easy. Because I'm an engineer. And I test like this for practice. Ah! Oh. Chapter 3. Alright. So I'm going to continue the standards from last time, and I'm going to call the video here. Thank you for joining me. I have been Pace the Engineer, and we shall resume with testing and see who could be returning next time. Who knows? Could it be a new character we've never seen before returning? Or one of the old characters that we've seen hints of returning? Who knows? You shall have to uh, tune in the next time to find out uh, where we will continue testing and exploring with the uh, overarching controlling person that we murdered that came back to life and maybe seeing the cute idiot that we joined on adventures with. Um, but I have been Pace the Engineer, you have been lovely, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.